Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. So ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about how to boost your self-esteem. Remember when I created my channel around about February, I actually talked about the topic which is, was about self-esteem and I actually talked about what are the causes of a, a low self-esteem and what are the disadvantages of having a low self-esteem and i never provided you guys with the solutions on what to do in order for you to actually boost your self-esteem but i am right now promising you that i will be doing exactly that we are going into how to boost your self-esteem if you're having a low self-esteem bad uh, self-image how you can actually improve and this video is the first video that will be addressing that and there's so many more videos that will be helping us to actually improve our self-esteem so many people do believe that they cannot achieve great things in life because they do not have whatever it takes in terms of intelligence intellectuality wisdom strength and power so they believe that some things are meant for certain people and also some they even look at themselves in terms of their appearance as as you know ugly people and all that so it's actually one of the wars that we as young people need to actually deal with need to address and actually fight against it because it has the potential to actually limit it limit us as young people because immediately when you believe that you cannot do great things in life it means that you are not going to actually do your best in trying to do beautiful things on earth you are not going to actually try and develop solutions for the problems that we are facing in the world and i believe that like young people are uh, the you know are the future and young people are those people who will actually come up with solutions for the problems that we currently have. And then when we have those people who actually um, look down at themselves, it means that the world will still remain the same even in the years to come. So that's why I believe that it's one of the core factors that we actually need to actually address, deal with and fight against um, in terms of you know having a poor self-image you know like judging yourself judging even your body structure as in oh i cannot you know wear this because of this and that you know i cannot go there because of this and that you know um uh you know man those kind of things that we actually you know think of as you know as young people and in that case even adults so how I actually overcome and won this war was through the spiritual journey. And I think one of the um, factors on how to actually improve your self-esteem is through looking at yourself in terms of how God looks at you. God created you according to his image. So you are looking like God and you function like God. So when we are actually looking at our appear appearance, you look like God. And when we look at the things that you can do and the things that you are going to do, we are looking at how you function. You actually function exactly as how God functions. And when you actually doubt yourself, I discovered that you are not actually doubting yourself especially when you are the child of god but you are actually um you're actually looking down on god who loves in you so, so actually when you are adopting yourself and especially as the child of god it means that you're adopting god because now god lives in you and you live in him so everything that you do you are doing through god when you are adopting your strength you are not adopting your own strength but you're adopting god's strength and you actually limiting God and acting against the word of God. For God created us according to his image. It means that we look exactly like him. And the minute we start adopting our looks in our body structure, it, then it means that we actually, you know, saying God did not do the perfect job when he was actually doing us or creating us. So, ladies and gentlemen, one of the ways on how you can boost your self-esteem 
is through looking at yourself in terms of how God looks at you. And trust me, you will never go wrong. We actually having transcendental strength within us. We actually having transcendental power and wisdom within us. It's just that we need to actually tape on that wisdom in order for us to perform the things that we think are difficult. Yes, it's not a bad thing to actually, you know, confess that this is is, is too difficult for me, right? But through God, it is possible. And then you start doing it, knowing very well that you are not doing it yourself, but God is doing it using you. It's a very great thing to actually acknowledge us as humans and as flesh that without God, we actually cannot do anything, but with him, we can do everything. So start not looking at yourself as Okuba Ongbani, but as Oguti, who God created you to be. You are the child of God. You are caring God. You are the temple of God. God lives in you. Stop limiting him. Tape on his power whenever you need to do anything that is beyond your strength. It is the time for God to act. Every kind of weakness that we have is there to actually present a platform for God to work in our lives. And thus for us to be able to give him all the glory and honor that he deserves. Thank you so much for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. And watch the next video. I will try to actually look at the different verses in terms of how God thinks about us.